my name is Rebecca, you're watching Rebecca's channel and welcome back to another episode of The History of Diabolical Lovers. As you guys know, the series is sadly coming to an end. We only have three more episodes to go, which is really, really sad. But don't you worry because in the next series, we're going to be talking about Reject's other series, which is Dance with Devils. So look forward to that. But today's episode, we are going to be talking about Sabat mother as it has been highly requested by you guys to check out so we are going to be doing her today but as always before we get into this video please subscribe to the channel I post on a Wednesday a Friday and a Sunday if you like anime content fashion content or just a bunch of random other stuff then hey subscribe to the channel you're already watching you may as well subscribe also please go follow me on my Instagram Instagram. I will leave it in my description box down below. Also, all the information for this video is coming from the Diabolical Lover Wiki fandom as always. So go and check out my description box and go and give them some love and support because we're all about love and support on this channel and helping other people. So go and make sure to give them support for all their time and their research and giving us this information on characters of Diabolical Lovers. I also just want to say I'm testing out a brand new camera mic on the side here so hopefully the quality of me talking will sound better in this video you guys let me know what you think of the new mic is it good is it bad someone let me know let's get into the history of Sabaru's mother she is several thousand years old we don't know what year or so she was born in like Cordelia and the rest of them we don't really know what year they were born in so sorry I can't give you that information here. She is known as the White Rose. She is also Carol Hines' third wife out of all of them and she has a son named Sabaru. So let's go into her personality now. So she is a very innocent type of person. That's what her appearance comes as. She also has been shown to have a very strong pride as well. So so sadly her mental state isn't as good as it used to be because of what happened with her husband and again we will get into this in her history. She is also known to have very gentle moments with Sabaru as well so she isn't always completely insane. She did have normal moments with her son. Although she loved her son, she gave him a silver knife and begged him to kill her. So yeah, she seems to be quite an interesting character personality wise. Seems to be all over the place. Seems to be just a bit mentally unstable. Used to be a very gentle lady. And then stuff between Cordelia and her and Carol Hines seemed to kind of mess her up a bit. So now we're gonna go and talk about her history because she does have a long history. Like Cordelia she actually does have a history behind her so we're gonna get into that and I'm quite excited to know more so let's go into her history due to her beauty she was loaded among the vampires as the white rose in the retcon she was happy to become Carol Hines bride but was then disgraced. She knew even before marriage that Carol Hines has researched her. Following Sabaru's birth, she started to lose her mind because of the realization that her husband never loved her. Realizing her actions and the truth about her son's legacy, she would see her son as filthy and often treat him as such. In Subaru's dark fate route, during one of her mental episodes, she mistook Yui for Cordelia and begged Yui to stay away from that filthy person, referring 
to her son. A possible explanation for this is Haunted Dark Bridal. It is strongly implied that Carol Hines locked her up and broke her down mentally, causing her to go mad. She couldn't tell the difference between people and saw her son as a filthy stranger. A result of that is replicated on Yui in one of the bad endings. So that seems to be a bit about her history. There is more about her but it is a very big spoiler warning so if you do want to check that out I will leave it down below. Don't want to spoil you all guys there so you have to go over to there if you want to see what that spoiler is. So that seems to be a bit of her history. Bit interesting. I didn't know a lot about that. I did know she was mentally unstable though. I did know that but I didn't know the rest of it so that's quite interesting. Carl Hines plans also seem to be a bit sneaky as he kind of knew who she was. She was this beautiful elegant lady known the white rose and he seemed to know what that was all about. So that's quite sneaky for his part as well. But isn't Carl Hines always sneaky? He is, isn't he? He is. He is. So that's basically much it. She does have relationships with Carl Hines and Subaru so if you do want to check that out I will leave it all down in my description box for you. But that's really much her history. I do feel sorry for her being a lot away in a castle and then being mentally unstable that would get to you after a while and then also then begging your son to you know kill them with the sword yeah that is yeah yeah not nice but hey this is diabolical lovers and there's so much drama with diabolical lovers and all the characters and if you want to see more about characters I do have a playlist already on the channel so you can go description box and check it all out if you want to see about the boy but yeah yeah, that is the end of her history. Not too short, not too long. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That always helps me and lets me know. Next episode is going to be about Daddy King himself, Carol Hines. So look forward to that, everyone. He'll be next week. And then after him, it will be the finale episode, which will be the history of Diabolical Lovers. So that is exciting. I hope you all have had a fantastic day wherever you are. New year is coming so I hope you have a good 2021. Look forward to that. I'm excited. Hopefully it's a better year. We can all pray. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching another episode on the channel and remember guys, don't be scared to be a different. Bye!